April 30th, 2023 will be a day that goes down in NHL history forever. Last night's Stanley Cup playoffs included two Game 7s between the Colorado Avalanche and the Seattle Kraken and the Boston Bruins and the Florida Panthers. First, let's take a look at the Bruins-Panthers game. The Boston Bruins this season were the winningest team in NHL history, winning a total of 65 games during the regular season and they were up against the second wildcard team in the Florida Panthers. This series, for many, including myself, was a complete write-off for Boston. Boston was absolutely going to steamroll the Panthers, right? Being up 3-1 in the series, the Panthers looked all but over. But some clutch performances by Kachuk, especially Montour and Bobrovsky, they somehow brought the series back and forced a Game 7. Going into Game 7, there was a lot of pressure on the Bruins to win. And I think you could see this as I feel like Florida was very dominant in the first, and they were creating a lot of turnovers and really pushing a sloppy Boston team. The first period pressure would resolve in a power play goal by Montour, who was just having an amazing series. In the second period, the Panthers would go up early with a crazy snipe by Reinhardt. But after they take a few bad penalties... Krejci would eventually pop one in on the power play to bring it within one. This seemed to spark the Bruins as they were hounding on the pressure to finish the second and heading into the third, they had a power play. 55 seconds into the third, Bertuzzi would score on a tip on the power play and Pasternak would score another goal three minutes later, putting the Bruins up 3-2. to two. Surely they would win this game after taking that lead, right? Nope, you'd be wrong. Montour ends up sliding a weak goal past Swayman with a minute left and this game ended up going to overtime. Boston's sloppy play would continue in overtime, and you could see it that they were just, it, it wasn't, they weren't clicking. Watching that game, you could tell that just, it wasn't going their way, and Verhage would end up becoming the overtime hero for the Florida Panthers. I feel like Boston killed themselves in this one, and they just didn't look good enough to win that game. It just wasn't their game, really. This was relatively sad as the game would end, and we may have seen Patrice Bergeron's last game in the NHL. A great career by one of the greats, and he was one of my idols growing up. It's going to be really sad to see him leave, as well as, like, everyone from my childhood is aging out. Crosby, Ovechkin, it's just crazy. The Avalanche Kraken game was a low-scoring one, and I didn't watch much of it because I had work the next day. But from the highlights, it looked like it was an absolute goalie showdown between Grubauer and Georgia. The first period was scoreless, and the scoring only came in the second period, where Bjorkstrand would pop in a lucky bounce off the defender, and then score on a 2-on-1 a few minutes later. Rantanen would get the avalanche on the board with 30 seconds left in the second, as he would deflect a McKinnon shot into the net. Nothing too crazy would go on in the third, until about 7 minutes left, where the avalanche were just going full out offense mode. They, their defensemen were pinching on every opportunity they got, it was crazy, they were creating a lot of chances, and Grubauer was there to shut the door. Gorgiev also had an amazing game and made some big stops in the final minutes because of course with your defenders pushing so much it's going to cause some chances. The Kraken would somehow end up holding off the Avalanche and advance to the second round. This night was just crazy. The winningest team in NHL history and the defending Stanley Cup champions being eliminated in the first round is just something I could not have foreseen. This also shows that the league is changing and for the first time in what feels like forever the Penguins, Capitals, Lightning and Bruins are not heading to the second round. I'm excited to keep watching these games and reporting them for those who listen. Feedback of course is always appreciated as this is the first video that I make like this and I still have a lot to learn. On that note, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, what are you guys thoughts on these games last night? And this is Gus signing out.